trust your first impression? Does it feel like it's daytime or nighttime? It's nighttime. Mm-hmm. It's nighttime. I, I want to say. Trust your first impression. I want to say there's like mountains and trees. Mm hmm. Mountains. And but trees. I can't see them that clear. That's just kind of what I'm feeling. That's okay. You don't have to see them. Remember, I want to. <coughs> you remember you're seeing it with your mind's eye. So as it gets acclimated to the space. It'll become brighter for you. Okay. So you know it's nighttime, and when you're out at nighttime, you really can't see what's around you because it's dark. But you know it's there. You already know what's around you. So get yourself acclimated into that area. Do you feel that you have a body there or that you're floating? Let's begin with that. Hmm, okay. So let's keep floating around. And you have full control of what you see. So as you float, you can see that you can become you can become daytime now. And imagine that it starts getting lighter and lighter out so that you can see what's up above you or below you or in front of you. Allow the picture to clear up for you as if the sun were coming up. And describe everything you see. Tell me if you feel any movement. frustrated because I can't see anything. Mm -hmm. You may not be able to see. Maybe you're stuck in a dark place. So there's other senses that you can use. You know how to use your other senses. Hearing, taste, smells. Even when you walk into a dark room, you know if somebody's there. Not because you can see them, but because your mind's eye knows that they're there. Just take a deep breath in and allow yourself to calm. Yeah, I know, I feel anxious. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this anxious I, feeling. I feel like I want to come down right. Mm -hmm. All right. I want you to float over now to that beautiful place that you love so much. I want you to visualize it again. Tell me what it looks like. Some beautiful clean sands. The ocean. Mm -hmm. There's steps mm -hmm. that I can walk out and sit there and meditate. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I feel anxiety. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I just want it so bad. It's So let's stand on top of it. I don't want to cry. Let's cry. Yeah. Let it out. Let all of it out. I don't want to, don't want to get a grip. I want to get a grip. So tell me about those steps. Let's go down those steps. I want you to measure those steps. There's ten of them. All right. And if with each step that you take closer to that beach, you're going to feel more and more relaxed and go deeper. Take the first step. Take one step down. 
We're going to count from 10 to 1. Okay. All right, so 10. Going deeper and deeper within. Nine. Down. 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 And number eight. Deeper. Deeper. Days of restroom. Alright. So take, I'm going to count you out. I'm going to count from one to five. And when I come to five, you'll be wide awake. You'll be able to go back and get a state of relaxation even deeper than you are now. Back down. Be there now. And tell me, what do you feel around you? It's dark. It's dark. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What's your first impression is in this darkness? Do you feel like you're inside or outside? No, I'm outside. It looks like there's mountains. Mm -hmm. There's mountains. But I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Feel the temperature around you. Do you feel like it's warm or crisp, cool? How does it feel? Mm. Trust your impressions. Mm. First thing that comes into your mind. Feels mm, cool. Mm hmm. Feels cool. Do you feel that you're by yourself there or somebody yes. else with you? Mm hmm. Do you feel like you're standing on something? Or are you floating? I'm not standing. Mm hmm. So tell me a little bit about your perspective. I don't feel like. I don't feel like I'm in a body. I'm just kind of like looking out. Mm, perfect, perfect. Very good. So while you're in that looking out, you can move. So let's see if we can move around to discover where it is that we are. Allow the pictures to just come to you. See if you can go towards those mountains. And do you see any any type of silhouettes of trees there? Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's just mountainous? like, it's hard to describe, it's like the sky. It's like the sky? Sky or mountains. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So you can now fast forward it as if you had a remote in your hand. And you can fast forward to where there's now some light. So use your mind to advance that scene a little bit more. And tell me how it changes. Notice how things become clear. I see clouds again. Mm hmm I see clouds. Are these clouds light or are they dark? They're dark, but they have white mm -hmm. around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Are these clouds moving or are they stationary? 
What else do you see? Look around you. The scenery may be very different from a different perspective. Do you see? I'm still in the clouds and oh, I think it's I think it's starting to get daylight. Mm, beautiful. Wonderful. Oh yeah, it's turning blue. Beautiful, beautiful. So as it turns blue now you'll be able to see more. So describe everything that you see. Just white and blue. Mm -hmm. And as you're watching it. Focus on your sensations and your emotions and tell me how you're feeling as you're watching that. I feel like my mom's there. Mm -hmm. You feel like your mom's there? Yeah. Right? Yeah, she's there. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. So what's she doing there? I don't know. She just... She just wants me to know that she's there. Can you see her face? No. <laughs> you can feel her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the blue. The blue, the blue yeah. Those are her favorite color. Mm -hmm. So do you want to talk to your mom? No, I don't know. I don't need to. Mm -hmm. I did her. You just know that she's there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else is she telling you? <laughs> to get a grip. <laughs> <laughs> to get a grip? <laughs> <laughs> He's using a little humor to, yeah. to make you feel better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How does she feel to you? I just know she's there. Mm -hmm. Well, let's ask Mom to help you with this. Today. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Let's ask your mom to escort you today on this little journey so she can help you. Grab your conscious mind is winning. Allow yourself to release and let go. Okay. I just... I don't know. I'm on a time frame. So mm -hmm. Tell your conscious mind to mind her own business okay. and allow you to have a good time. So let's talk to your mom. Allow her to help you today. Mm. What's she telling you? It's not a big star. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she just says, I could do it. I don't need help. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Does your mom want to come along on this journey today and watch? Or are you going to be okay? I'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm a big girl. You are. Mm. Alright, so is she still in the blue sky? What are you seeing now? see white. Mm -hmm. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to just tap into a memory. I want you to, I'm going to ask you to go back 
to a memory that you had mm. when you were a child. I'm going to count from five to one, and when I get to one, I'm going to tap your forehead, and you'll be there. And I want you to just describe everything that's going on there. Five, going back. memory to something that affected you and one be there now is it daytime or nighttime it's nighttime nighttime mm -hmm. how old are you there mm, about Seven. Mm -hmm. Seven. Look around you. Where are you? I'm at home. Mm -hmm. Who are you with? Um, with everybody. All my brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's happening. Oh, well, the first thing that came to mind, the very first thing when you said that was, when I had a bro I woke up in the middle of the night with a bad toothache. And I went to my mom's bed, and uh, she didn't know what to do, so she went to the backyard and got some yerba buena, some, which come to find, I learned it was green mint. Mm -hmm. And she boiled it, and she put it on my tooth, and then she hugged me, and then she held my thing, my right here. Mm -hmm. And then I went to sleep, and then when I woke up, it was better. But I think that's the first thing that I thought of so that <clears throat> she can assure me that she's with me mm -hmm. Wonderful. so I forgot about that mm -hmm. it's a nice it's yeah. a nice memory isn't it yeah. wonderful let's go visit another memory now I'm going to count from five to one and let's go to a memory that affected you deep down in your heart when I get to one you'll be there Five, four, three, two, and one. Be there now. Where are you? I'm just at home playing in the front yard. Mm -hmm. Is it daytime or nighttime? It's daytime. Daytime. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? About six or seven. Mm -hmm. What's happening? I'm collecting ladybugs and putting them in a jar. Mm -hmm. I'm getting them from the plants. How do you feel there? Happy. It was mm -hmm. fun. Who's with you? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. And how old do you think you are? It's about six years old. Six. Very good. So now we're going to go back further into when you were a little younger. I'm going to count from five to one. We're going to go back in time when you were even younger. Five. I grew up in. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening. Gosh, I was so young. I think I was a baby. Mm -hmm. So what's happening around you? I um, I was walking. I think it must have been about two or three, maybe two. Mm -hmm. But they opened the door, and I was dressed, and I had a pretty dress on and shoes, and so I walked out the door by myself and then my father was there and he got mad and then he spanked me on the butt mm -hmm. how did that make you feel um I didn't understand at first and it didn't really hurt because he didn't spank me hard I had a pamper on 
but I don't know, I just wondered why he did that. Mm-hmm. As an adult now, can you see why he did that? Yeah, I know mm-hmm. why he did that. Do you forgive him for that? Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's leave that scene behind. Let's go to where you're younger. I think I know what's happening. Oh, my bladder. I gotta go again. I drank about probably close to a gallon of water. It makes me feel good. It helps me think better. But now I got this. which I haven't gone in yet because that's not what I'm supposed to do. I just mm-hmm. go down the steps. They're like made of wood. Mm-hmm. And it's just right in my backyard. I can walk down there and my feet hit the sand right away. Mm-hmm. What does it feel and like? It, just, it feels warm and soft. And mm-hmm. You just go down there and sit and face the ocean and breathe the sea salt, the sea air. Mm-hmm. And I can just, just sit there and just meditate. And so look all around you. Are you by yourself or are there others? Yeah, I'm by myself. Wonderful. Yeah. Do you see any birds there? Mm-hmm. I've seen some dolphins swimming in the ocean. Oh, beautiful. See if you can connect with the dolphins. Use your mind to connect with them. See if they have a message for you. The dolphins and the whales are messengers. What are they trying to tell you? To free myself. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. What would you like to tell them? <coughs> Thank you. You're beautiful. You look free too. Mm-hmm. So they're telling you that you just need to free your soul. Yeah, it's, and it's okay to be a teenager because they look young. They do. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I act like a teenager, but they said it's okay. So I want you to see yourself lying in that beautiful mm-hmm. place, that beautiful beach, and tell me, how old do you feel there? Mm, I feel about... I feel about 35. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. And tell me what you're wearing there. It's on white shorts and a white top. Mm-hmm. And I got flower, a flower in my head. Nice. Mm-hmm. What else do you look like? Mm-hmm. I'm tanned. Mm-hmm. Happy. Are you reading anything or do you have anything in your hand? You're just enjoying? sitting there, yeah. Mm-hmm. So tell me all of the emotions that you feel as you're there. I just feel safe and happy and I don't know why, but when you asked if there was people there, mm-hmm. the very very first thing that came to mind was. Because, you know, I, I can imagine. It's my right. I have a right to imagine. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> this big, buff, cute guy <laughs> running, jogging with no shirt. Mm-hmm. And he's jogging on the beach, and he's jogging towards me. And he has, like, a head of black hair. Mm-hmm. And a cute smile. So just enjoy that. Oh, if I am. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Feels good. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, so let's let's start going through your memories again. Okay. We're going to now use the count of three to one to okay. make it faster. So I'll count from three to one. When I get to one, I'll tap your forehead. And I want you to go back into a memory when you were very young. It could be a memory 
of something enjoyable, it could be a memory of something that hurt you, but we just want to relive that memory. So I'm going to start now. Three, two, and one. Be there now. What's happening? I'm lying on the bed. I'm lying on the bed. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I'm little. Mm -hmm. I'm back about maybe seven or eight. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself or somebody with no, you? No, my sister Rosemary sitting there on the bed with me. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening. <laughs> she beat me up. Mm -hmm. she uh, up. Yeah, I must have did something or said something, I don't know. But she gave me a good one. Mm -hmm. And it hurt so bad I cried and I couldn't stop crying, so she stayed there with me. Mm -hmm. So let me talk to your sister now. Mm -hmm. Let me talk to Rosemary. I'm going to touch your forehead and then I want you to express yourself as Rosemary. Rosemary? Tell me your side of the story. What happened? That's how we dealt with things. Uh -huh. I got it. Everybody else got it. What was happening, Rosemary? Why did you get it? Because my mother got it. Uh -huh. And who did she get it from? From her mother. Uh -huh. So what was it, what was going on? Just the beatings. Mm hmm So who you beat you today, Rosemary? My mother. Mm hmm What was happening? She I was little and she thought I lied, so she beat me up. Mm hmm She gave me a good one. And then what did you do to your sister? She must have lied or something, so I beat her up. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's the right thing to do? No. Mm -hmm. Now let me hear what Jean has to say about that. Jean, what would you like to tell your sister? I was just a little girl. <laughs> I couldn't even defend myself. Tell her how you feel. <laughs> you were even my mother. I don't even know if you like me. I don't even think you like me. Tell her how, how you feel about it. Just because you got it doesn't mean everybody else has to. Mm -hmm. All right, let me speak with Rosemary. Rosemary, what do you say back to her? <sighs> Sorry, I didn't know it was going to affect her that much. Mm -hmm. Do you think you would do this again, Rosemary? No. How does it make you feel when you get beaten? Horrible. Mm -hmm. So why would you do that to your sister? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So would you like your sister to forgive you for that? She already did. Okay. Let me speak with Jean. Jean, do you hear what your sister said? Yes. How do you feel about that? It's okay. I understand. Okay. Good. So you've forgiven your sister for, for doing that yeah. to you? Knowing that your mother beat her too? Yeah. Okay. All right, take a deep breath in. And now we're going to go to another time and place. And we're going to count from three to one. Three, two, and one. Be there now. What's happening? Is it daytime or nighttime? It's daytime. Mm-hmm. How old are you? I don't know. I think I'm about seven or eight. What's going on? I'm roller skating. How does that make you feel? Mm, it feels good. Are you with your with your brothers and sisters or are you by yourself? Um Well I'm skating by myself, but I think I went with 
my sister mm -hmm. and the neighbor's mom and her girls. So it feels pretty good roller skating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, my, my neighbor's mom, Marie Taff, she went to the second hand and got me a pretty dress. Mm -hmm. What's it look like? It looks like a skinny dress and it's really pretty and it's got flowers all over. <laughs> but my mom didn't get it for me. Marie Taff got it for me because she loved me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And she always took care of me. And she knew my potential. Mm -hmm. She told me one time that she, that she wished she wished her daughters were like me. Mm -hmm. And she put us in campfire girls. Oh yeah, campfires, and they got a cute outfit. It's a blue skirt with a white shirt and a little hat and a scarf. Mm -hmm. And she'd drive us around. And she says she's a saucer. She's a drinker. She drives drunk drives around all over. But she loved me. She's with me. What would you like to tell her? <laughs> I would like to tell her thank you. <laughs> And if it wasn't for her, I would I would have those happy moments because mm -hmm. <laughs> my mother never did. Good. So let me speak with Marie Tell. Marie, do you hear what Jean has said? Yeah. What would you like to tell me? <laughs> tell sweetie, you know I love you, sweetie. <laughs> You're the same age as Lynette, <laughs> but you weren't like Lynette. So do you feel like Jean is one of the daughters that you should have had? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. You were able to take care of her? Yeah. So tell her. Tell her how you feel about her. You're always a strong one, a loud one. The one that always said, yeah, let's do it. I encouraged my daughter. What would you like to, what words of wisdom would you like to give Jean? She love her soul. Mm -hmm. Take care, better care of her soul. And stop drinking. Smoking. All right, let me speak with Jean. Jean, did you hear what Marie Taff said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? It feels good to know somebody cares. Mm -hmm. So take all of that feeling mm. that you have, all that love that you have inside. And just feel all of your body with all of that beautiful love from her. Because all of that love is worth a lifetime of love. To savor it. Mm. Such a beautiful feeling to be loved. Yeah. And you had it from Marie. Yeah. Wonderful. Rita. All right, so let's take a deep breath. We're going to travel through time and space. I want you to go back in time to when you were a baby. Three, two, and one. Be there now. Where are you? I'm in another house. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Well, I don't know too much about it because I can't see it, but I was told that it was the house that that we lived in before my dad bought mm -hmm. the other house. So how old were you there? I was a baby. Mm -hmm. What's happening around you? Mm, I don't know, but 
I just see like adults talking and I think they're trying to make a decision if we're going to move or not. Mm -hmm. And how are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. I'm comfortable. Good. Yeah. Good. Alright, we're going to leave that scene. Take a deep breath and now we're going to go to the moment when you were inside your mom's room. Three, two, and one. Be there now. What are you feeling? I kind of feel like our heart beating like stress or something. Mm -hmm. It's making my heart. Tell me about it. What's going on there? What is she stressed about? The baby always knows. I don't know. I think... I'm just trying to figure out what to do with my father. You know, she, By that time, she already had four kids. So as you, as a baby inside of her now, you can pick up on her thoughts, everything that's happening with her. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> she doesn't know what's going to go on with me and my dad. I mean, she doesn't know what's going to go on with her boyfriend at the time, which was my dad. Mm -hmm. So it worries her. Tell me why. Because she has four kids already, and like, what is she going to do with another kid? Mm -hmm. Is she making any decisions right now about you? No, but... She made a decision of about the one before me mm -hmm. that she didn't allow to be born. Mm -hmm. So how does that make you feel knowing that? Uh, it's, I don't know. I, I, I don't really care because I know I'm going to be born. Mm -hmm. I guess I kind of already knew that that it was me that was going to bring them together. Mm -hmm. Did you make that decision before you were born? I think so. Mm -hmm. All right. I want you to take a deep breath in now. We're going to go back in time now to the moment before you came into your mom's body. Three, two, and one. Be there now. Where are you? I don't know. Look around you. It's all black. It's all black. or was somebody with you? It doesn't seem like I have a body. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm just kind of knowing that I have to come over here so that she can get her housing and get all her kids in there or something. I don't mm -hmm. know. Alright, I want you to go to the place where your guides are that are helping you with this decision. I want you to drift and float over to you, the place where your guides are helping you. And describe what you see. I don't see nothing. What does it feel like? It's just dark. Mm -hmm. What emotions do you get from there? I don't feel nothing. Mm -hmm. So let's go back even further now. 
let's go back further and let's go to the time when you were with your guides with your counsel discussing what you were going to be doing into your next lifetime three two and one look around you Your guys are with you. Look around for them. I can't. I think it's too. Oh. Yeah, that's better. Tell me what's happening. Look around you. I just see a shimmering light. Mm -hmm. A green light? Oh, it's like shimmering. A shimmering light? Perfect. Mm -hmm. We'll try to get some feeling out of that shimmering light. It's trying to call me. It's trying to call you? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get to it, but I can't. Well, you don't have to get to it physically. Just communicate with it telepathically. Okay. Feel yourself connecting mm. telepathically with that light. And once you make a connection, you'll be able to understand exactly who that light is and what it's telling you. Mm. It's all done from mind to mind. Initiate the communication. Ask it who it is. Rosa? Mm -hmm. It says Rosa. Mm -hmm. She said like the rose. Like the rose. Mm -hmm. Rosa? Mm -hmm. Ask her who she is. She said the flower is ro it's a rose and it's love. It's love. Mm-hmm. Is this your guide? I don't know. Ask him. So, yeah, one of them. Mm-hmm. Ask Rosa if she would like to communicate with you today and help you. Is that okay? Mm hmm. Ask Rosa if she, if I could speak with her directly, or would she like to speak through you? doesn't matter. Okay. So allow Rosa to speak so I can ask her questions. I'm going to count from three to one. I'm going to tap your forehead and I'll speak with Rosa. Express yourself as Rosa, that beautiful shimmering light. Three, two, and one. Good evening, Rosa. Good. <laughs> Thank you for being here today. Are you Jean's angel? <laughs> no. Who are you? It just says I'm Jean. Mm, you're just Jean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you the higher self? Yeah. Thank you for being here today. <laughs> she needs me. Yeah, so I can't get quick. Mm -hmm. I can't.
came so sooner than later. You came sooner than later. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. she needs. Yeah. Help. Tell me. Tell me why you brought her here today. <laughs> she's, she's in a lot of pain. She's in a lot yeah. of pain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what would you like to tell her? <laughs> I just like to tell her that you know I love you. I always have loved you. And I've been the one caring for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's gonna come. You just gotta be patient. You don't know how to be patient. <sighs> but you're learning. You're learning every day. Every day you're learning. Every day. Well, I want to thank, thank you for bringing her all the way from California to Miami. <clears throat> You're welcome. That was quite a journey for her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She listened to you. Yeah, she knows that. She has to let her fears go, otherwise she can't live. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And she, she was fighting me. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Would you be willing to ask, answer these big questions that she brought today? Could try. Mm-hmm. She wants to know what her purpose in life is. Everybody knows. <laughs> well, we, we're recording this and she probably wants to listen to it from you. Okay. What's she supposed to be doing here? Just be happy. To be happy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is she fulfilling her purpose? Yeah. Good. And what contract did she have with God? Be love. To be love. Mm -hmm. Is she doing it? Yeah. Good. She tries. This gets hard. But yeah, she tries. Good. It's been her only saving grace. Mm -hmm. She's good. Yeah. She had a question about the new earth. She wants to know if she's going to enter it. Yeah, she wants to. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell her about the new earth? Mm -hmm. Not to worry about it, just live right now. Mm -hmm. Be healthier. Be healthier? Yeah. Okay. She wants to know if she's going to live to be an old lady. I don't know. I don't know. What would you tell her? Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Just live right now. Just live right now. Yeah. Okay. Is she going to meet Mr. Wright anytime soon? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, where should she go to meet him? Mm. Where does she want? She can go on the beach mm -hmm. in Hawaii. Yeah, she can meet that, that young buff guy. Yeah, but that's kind of far. That's far from her? Yeah. There's a, there's a few beaches in California, I would think. Yeah. <laughs> Should she date online? Mm -mm. No. Okay. She had a question whether she, she would remain single for the rest of her life. Mm -mm. Remarried? What, you, what would you like to say? Mm, I don't know if you'll ever get married again, but you're going to meet somebody. She needs a companion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will she meet her soul life, soulmate in this life? Mm -mm. No. Where mm. is her soulmate? <laughs> I don't know. The first word that came was Tanzania. I don't know what that is. Tanzania. Uh, what is that? I don't even know what that it's is. It's a country. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that's where her soul made it? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Tanzania. 
Well, she had also questions about her career. And she says uh, she's just got a job now, but she needs healing on her wrists. Should she be doing a job that she's standing, like security? Or should she be doing a job that uses her hands and handles documents? She could do whatever job she wants. And what would you like to encourage her to do as her higher self? <sighs> Do a job where you're moving. Mm -hmm. She needs to move her body more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should she run her own business? She had questions about parenting. Yeah, she should. Yeah? yeah. Parenting classes? Does that mean she needs to go back to school? No. No? She can handle it on her own? Yeah. Okay. And what about um, domestic violence? Uh, victims and survivors. Should she work with them? She knows. Mm -hmm. That should be part of it. Yeah. Okay. What about um, Spanish? Is she going to need to learn some Spanish? Reading and writing? Uh, yeah, that's why she came over here. Mm hmm. Over here, mean where? Here, where she's at, where everybody speaks Spanish. No one speaks English. Mm -hmm. So is this uh, the reason she came to Miami was to remind her of that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh huh. Because in California they at least speak to her in English. Yeah, and they act like they don't even want to be Mexican over there. Uh huh. But in in Miami nobody speaks <laughs> English. So it was a reminder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, a confirmation. A confirmation that she needed. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's why I say she knows already. She she, knows. she has all the answers, but you know her mind doubts and so that's mm -hmm. why. Right, right. A question about um, it's not her career, but it's about her, her landlord, and if she should take any legal action against him. How do you feel about? Do what she thinks is right. Mm -hmm. Well, you had told her a minute ago that she should be doing things out of love. She is love. Yeah. Is uh, is that something that would be done out of love? Yeah, because other people suffer. Okay. No one says anything, but a lot of people suffered at that mm -hmm. apartment. Okay, so she should she should take action mm -hmm. to help the others. Yeah. Okay. She wants to know how she can create more balance in her life. She says she's had some addictions in the past. Mm, she knows. She doesn't seem to have them now. Have you been working on her on that? Oh yeah, every day. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But she says every once in a while she gets a she gets tempted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's causing that temptation? I don't know, there's something. Because it's not her, she wants to quit. Okay. Okay, so we'll take care of that in a moment then? Yeah. Alright. Let's go through the rest of the questions so we can get through this. Okay. She wants to know where she should meditate. She okay. knows. <laughs> okay, Rocky. Can you tell her? The trees. The trees. So find a place where there's lots of trees? You know the tree, Jean. <laughs> you know the trees. <laughs> you know, but you don't. <laughs> you get lazy. Mm -hmm. You know how powerful those trees are. You know it. <laughs> you just keep ignoring them. <laughs> you, just, you just get lazy. You don't want to go there. But you have to and you know it. You know it. What's the connection she has with those trees? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's the whole area. The whole area? Yeah, I think, it was, I think she might have lived there or something. Mm -hmm. Is it a sacred area for her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has it anything to do with uh, Native Americans or anything there? I don't know. There's a lot of churches. Mm -hmm. 
There's some the churches all around. Oh, the churches, okay. Yeah. Okay. Other than monitoring her emotions and staying positive, what else can, can she do to raise her vibrations? Some love and patience. Mm hmm. Just have more patience. Have more patience, yeah. okay. She has a question about her guardian angel. We saw one, Rosa. Is that her primary angel? No. <sighs> Who helps her? I don't know. I. Look around her and see who's there with her. What do you see? It looks, it's dark. Mm -hmm. It looks dark? Okay. Is there something blocking her now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to take care of it, or should we do that later? Later. Okay. Let's continue then. <laughs> she wants to know why it is that she can remember some dreams. But not all of them. She's not supposed to just just remember the important ones. Mm -hmm. The other ones, is, is, she's not supposed to remember them. So there's no blockage in no. there. Why does she have this dream of her losing her teeth all the time? Is that a significance? She has to go to the dentist. She has to go to the dentist. <laughs> okay. So that's a, a hint that you've been giving her? Yeah. Okay. What about the dead people in her dreams? What's that all about? Since so dead people you had in you, you just got rid of them. Okay. Okay. Would you happen to know how many lives she's ever lived? No. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Okay. And how many she has to live? Doesn't matter. No, because she's going to live them anyway, so what does it matter? <laughs> Do you happen to know what planet she's from? Oh, I want to see the moon. Hmm. She came from the moon? Mm -hmm. She has an affinity with the moon. Yeah, she loves the moon. Mm -hmm. Has she lived on that moon before? Mm -hmm. I don't know. She just likes how it, it, lit, it lights up, even in the dark, even mm -hmm. at night, it, it's lit. Mm -hmm. It's always lit. It's so beautiful. And it's like, no matter where you go, it's still there. I saw it just last night, and it was the same moon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No matter where you go, it's still there. It's the same moon. Does Jean have any totem animals? I don't know. I used to think it was birds, but then I saw the dolphins. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So you think maybe the dolphins, maybe? Maybe. Mm -hmm. so it's calling her? Okay. She wants to know how to clean up her karma. Does she need to? Or is she doing it already? She did it already. She did it already? Okay. So all of that stuff that's behind her that's been making her cry and everything is done? Yes. Mm -hmm. So don't dwell on her anymore? No. Okay, just live her life? Yes. Okay, terrific. Mm. Why did she choose her parents? To make them happy. To make them happy? Mm-hmm. And so that my mom can have a nice home for her kids. Mm-hmm. Jean had to do with that? Yeah, I had to do because she couldn't, so Jean had to be born to show them love. To show them love? Yeah, because my dad, he didn't, the father, he didn't know. Did he have a contract? Did she have a contract with them beforehand? Mm.
don't know. I don't know, I can't tell. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone there that can help you that has more answers to that? To her? I know there's other levels that you can call out to. I don't know. See if I need help. Okay. Ask for help. I don't help. Ask for help. Take a deep breath in and ask for assistance on a higher level. Someone who knows the soul level of Jean. Who knows her soul contract. And tell me when you're there. Would you be willing to answer these questions? Nobody's coming. Okay, so would you be willing to continue ask, answering the ones that you know? Yes. Okay, terrific. She wants to know about her dad. Is he in the light? I don't know. So this looks dark. It looks dark. Okay. So we're going to deal with her dad in a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. She had questions also about about Victor. Mm -hmm. Are you able to tell if Victor actually did something to the girls? Mm -hmm. He did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how does that affect Jean? Because she's a girl. Okay. And it almost happened to her. Okay. Good. But she fought him. She had to fight him. That's why she was born to fight these people. Mm -hmm. She was born to fight them? Yeah. Okay. Because nobody was fighting them, so then she had to fight them. Okay. So, uh, all right. That sounds good. Yeah. Um, Another question that she has is about Erica. Why did she choose Marco and her as parents? Show us how to love. Show us how to love. Okay. Is that her contract with them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is she doing a good job? Yes. So why is it that she's always yelling at her? That's not her. It's not her. Mm -hmm. Is she being influenced? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that influence? Uh, someone who lives with her or somebody who yeah. is attached to her? I don't know. I, th I think it's both, it seems okay. like. Mm -hmm. Another question she had is, does she prevent something really bad happening to her? When yes. she was well? Yes. Okay. So, um, was that, did that happen to be Audrey and Amanda who helped her? Yes. Okay, so she is very connected. She understands what's going on. Yes. Mm -hmm. She's got good, good intuition. Yes. All right. She, she don't think she does, though. But she does. Yeah, yeah she does. Mm -hmm. It seems like she's very connected with you, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Through practices. Okay. I'd like to ask you about her health. Would you do a body scan on her now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Tell me if you find anything in her body that needs adjustment. Just her wrist so she can work. Mm -hmm. So could you do that for me now? Is it adjusting? I'd like to call forth also Archangel Raphael to help us in the session. So let me know what you're doing with her hands. It's a green light. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is she feeling anything? Hot. And let me know when you're done with that. Okay. She was talking about her hands, her wrists, and forearms that needed healing. Mm -hmm. 
Would you work on those tendons? Mm -hmm. Her liver. Would you take a look at her liver? Yeah, it looks kind of dirty. Mm -hmm. What can you use to help her with that? She knows. She's going to get a cleansing. But she goes back to California. Okay. Can you can you start with the cleansing now on a spiritual level? I could try. Mm -hmm. And just tell her what you're using so that she can envision it. It's a white light. Okay. And we know that the liver is a filter, so we can start working on it on an etheric level. I wait, wait for it to be all like pink. Mm -hmm. Good. Tell me when it becomes pink. What color was it before? It was dark. Mm -hmm. It's halfway. Mm. Okay. Wonderful. Take a look at her lungs. She had been smoking for a long time. Yeah, they're all dark. Mm hmm Can you help her with that? Could try. Mm-hmm. You tell her what you're using. I'm using a white light, but this time her parents are there. Mm. Understanding there. So her parents are watching yeah. as you're helping? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My dad came. I can't do that right now. It's mm -hmm. too much. It's too much. I think they interfere. All right. So let's tell them to move aside. Yeah, they want to help, but mm -hmm. I don't. We don't really need their help right okay. now. Okay. Just tell them to sit on the corner of the room. Please. Mhm. Mm okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do the lungs look now? They look okay. They look okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what about her heart? Mm, she still has pain in her heart. Mm -hmm. What's going on with her heart? <sighs> she wants to love and be loved. Mm -hmm. That's all. Mm -hmm. It's natural for her. So is there any repair that needs to be done? No. I just got to find somebody to love. Mm -hmm. He's coming though. Mm -hmm. He's coming. Yeah. Okay. Would you take a look at her bladder and see why her bladder is so weak? It's loose. Mm -hmm. What's causing that? The beer and coffee. Okay. So what would you suggest? Stop beer and coffee. Mm-hmm. She knows. Is there any repair that you can do at this time? Uh, uh, I could try to sew it up. Okay. Let's sew it up. And tell her what you're using. I'm gonna use a needle on thread, but it's not gonna hurt. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All done? Yeah. Okay. And mm. what about her eyes? They say that she says that they need healing. She knows what she's doing. Mm-hmm. Do it. Is there anything that you can help her with? I'm just going to send some bright, the brightest light that I have. Mm -hmm. What color is this light? It's a bright, bright, bright white. Mm-hmm. Is it going to hurt her eyes? It might. I 
Is she going to ask the vast ones mm. for help? All right. Who are the vast ones? Just like mm -hmm. beings. Yeah, they the come. One. They come to help her. You come to help her. She knows. Mm -hmm. And they're called the vast ones. Mm -hmm. Where are they from? Mm -hmm. Are they like angels? Or just like beings? Mm -hmm. No, the first thing that came to mind was the moon. Mm -hmm. okay. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Now she said that um, she had been using uh, substances for the last thirty years, and she wanted to know if there's anything that she got any damage in her brain, any brain cell damage. Yes. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? She don't remember. She's gonna need it for her new job. Okay, can we fire them up again? <sighs> could try, mm -hmm. but she has to do it. Okay, would you give her a hint as to how to do that? She knows. Just do like brain exercises. Okay, good, good. Is it safe for her to train to run a marathon or a triathlon? She already knows she could do whatever she wants. Mm -hmm. How does she prepare her body for that? She gotta go slow. Okay. It might take her a couple of years, but it's go slow. Okay. What about, for example, maybe a women's softball team? Is that good for her? Dangerous. Dangerous. She's too old. She's too old for that. How about a hobby like swimming or cycling or jogging? Or maybe even ballroom dancing. What would you swimming and dancing? Swimming and dancing, not not the job. Because the running, the running's too hard on her knees. She's oh. older. She's older. Yeah, she shouldn't be doing that. She shouldn't be that younger. Mm -hmm. She's too busy partying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that sounds good. Yeah. All right. So what I'd like you to do now is to scan her body for me and tell me if there's any shadows there. Anything that shouldn't be there. Her, her, her body should be bright white. And let me know if there's any shadows. Anything that shouldn't be there. Before that, there was something there dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I can't see. shadows there that shouldn't be there. Any movement that shouldn't be there. Something in the throat. Mm -hmm. Something in the throat. It's not dark though. It's I don't know. It's, it's kind of foggy. Okay, it's foggy. All right. So I'm going to thank you for for identifying that, and I'm going to now take that energy from the throat and bring it up into the voice. And I want you to express yourself as that shadow. So tell me. How long have you been there in her body? 15. 15 years? Or since she was 15? 15 years old. 15 years old, okay. Can you tell me, are you male or female? Mm -mm. You don't feel like you have a gender? I don't want to tell you. Oh, you don't want to tell me, okay. How old are you? Just 
does it matter? Does it matter? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it that attracted you to Jean? What was happening when she was 15? After her mom's boyfriend tried to molest her, mm -hmm. and she tries to tell her mom, and she doesn't kick him out, she lets him live there. So that made her very vulnerable? No, it made her very angry. Angry, okay. So if she was angry, how was it that you were attracted to her? What's your person? She got weak. She got weak? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what is it that attracted you to her? Mm -hmm. uh, mm, she likes to smoke weed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She doesn't smoke cigarettes or PCP. Just smoke weed. Smoke weed. And did she invite you to come in? No. No? She would never. So I had to just come on my own. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't mutual. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So what was the opening that allowed you to come in? When she was high. When she was high, that's an opening? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she became vulnerable to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what was the purpose of you being attracted to her at that time? so she could stay smoky. Ah, I see. To help her. To help her. How does it serve you to be here with her? Because I want to keep smoking. Okay, but it seems to me that she's not smoking anymore. So what she do you is. get out of it? She still does. She does, so that, that satisfies you then. <laughs> okay, so <sighs> recall when you were alive in your body. Were you smoking weed then? Yes. Ah, okay. And so when she started smoking weed, then it satisfied you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what were the circumstances of your death that you couldn't continue smoking? I don't know. I think I died in the jungle or something. Okay. So let's recall that. Let me try to help you with that so that we can help heal you and you can feel better. Would you be willing to help me with that mm -hmm. so I can help you? Yes. Okay. So I want you to take a deep breath in. I want you to go back in time to when you still had a body. Be there now and tell me where it is that you are. I don't know. It's a jungle. It's a jungle. Okay. And I'm an older man. You're an older man. Uh -huh. And I have like stuff on me and I think I sell weed. You sell weed? Okay, in the jungle. Mm -hmm. Or like, I don't really sell it, but like I was a person that they came to for it. Mm -hmm. Are you some sort of, sort of shaman? Are you a, a medicine man? Um, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. There's other things. Mm -hmm. What else did you did you smoke before besides that or what other medicine plant medicine did you use? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just remember the weed. The weed, okay. It's like you grow on the ground. And you're an old you're an older man. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, let me ask you something. Did you go by any particular name there? What is the name that you use? I don't know why Sunny came up. Sunny, mm hmm Sunny, what year is it for you? Oh, God, I don't know. Mm. See, it was the 1900s. Either the 17 or 1800s. Maybe 1800s. Maybe 1800s. Yeah. Sunny, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what was it that, that happened to you? How did you lose that life, that body? Let's recall that last day when you had a physical body. I already know I got killed for oh. the weed. Oh, okay. They wanted the weed. They wanted the weed and yeah. they killed you for it. Yeah. Okay. 
So, what happened after? What happened to your your spirit after you left your body? I stayed. Mm -hmm. Try to find somebody. Mm -hmm. I found a few people. You did. Did you keep going from person to person? Mm -hmm. And how did you find your way to California? Or to where were you? I don't know. I must have been in California. Okay. All right. So it must have been the jungles of California mm -hmm. when you died? Mm hmm Okay. So, Sonny, are you ready to to go back home? Yes. Okay. But before you do that, what? tell me what you have caused in Jean's body. What have you caused her? I caused her body organs mm -hmm. to go bad and I caused her to make bad choices. I caused her to stay with her abusive boyfriend. Else. Cost her a lot, nothing but bad, no, no good. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Mm. I feel okay because she knows she has free will, so. Mm -hmm. But, Sonny, in order for you to go home, you need to let go of all that baggage. Yeah, because know. if you don't. If you don't get forgiveness and forgive yourself for all of that, you're going to just have to repeat this over and over again. Yeah. Would you want me to help you with that? Yes. Okay, so let me ask Jean if she would like to let you go. Jean? Mm. Sonny has been causing you a lot of problems throughout your whole life. He's been attached to you for many years since you were 15. Are you able to forgive him and let him go? Yes. Okay. You need to forgive him with love. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me speak to Sunny. Sunny, do you see that she's ready to forgive you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, Sunny, I'm going to put my hand on your chest, and I want you to give to me all of the feelings that you have, everything that has kept you here, bound to this earth any resentments that you have, any fears, any remorse, any feelings that you have against the ones that killed you for the weed. Give them to me so I can send them into the universe to heal them. I want you to go totally light and tell me when I can Send them away. Okay. All right. We'll retire them now and send them off to the universe. Now, Sunny, in that space, what would you like to fill it with? Forgiveness. Lots of forgiveness. Love. Mm hmm. Lots of love. And happiness. Lots of happiness. How does that feel? Feels good. Good. Okay. Now, Sunny, I'm going to ask for my angels of the light to come and surround you now. I want you to tell me when you see them. Mm -hmm. Alright, they're going to surround you with lots of love and they're going to accompany you up into the light. And as you go, Sunny, I want you to retrieve from Jean's body all attachments, all cords, all influence that you have left behind. Pull them out by the roots Take them with you. <coughs> Take everything with you. Pull it out. Every cord from every single muscle and cell that's in her body that has been affected from every organ. Pull out all of the attachments. I want you to leave her totally clear. And tell me when you're done. All right, now I want the angels to accompany you now into the light. You'll see Archangel Michael waiting for you, extending his hand out to reach for you. I want you to reach out, grab his hand, and tell me when you're in the light. He's 
see light. Beautiful. So now, Sunny, from the light, I want you to beam down a beautiful healing light that will seal every place where you influenced her, every place where you had a cord or an attachment to her. Seal it with that light completely and tell me when she's totally sealed in light. Thank you, Sonny, for the help that you've given us today. From that perspective, if you look down at her, at her body, can you see any other uh, influences in her, any other shadows no. that we need to take care of? No. She's totally clear? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. May the light of the universe accompany you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to count from five to one, and I want to speak with Erica. Erica's higher self. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good evening, Erica. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Erica, I hear that you've been having issues with your mom. You haven't been nice to her sometimes. What's going on? You don't know her. Tell me what, what you feel. She's changed. She's come a long way. Mm -hmm. I helped her. You did. Yeah. Erica, what was the reason that you chose your mom? Because she can handle me. She can handle you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what what is it that you came here to do? What was your purpose? To show them love. Mm -hmm. Have you been doing it? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The learning. The learning. Yeah. Good. Now, Eric, I want you to. I want to help you a lot more. I want you to be able to help her and your mom and your dad in the best way possible. To do that, I want you to look through your body. Wait a minute. I gotta go to the bathroom again. All right. I'm gonna count from one to five. Mm -hmm. When I come to five, I'm going to touch your elbow, and then you'll be uh, wide awake. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, wide awake. Wide awake. I don't want to wake up. <laughs> oh, why is this happening? You're doing great. You're doing fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> I go, I go. Why is this happening? Then they go, you know, mm -hmm. and so you gotta take better care of yourself. Mm -hmm. like, Don't worry, I head back to California and change things. But <laughs> we've done quite a bit. How do you feel? Oh, that was weird. It's like I'm there, but not really. Uh huh. You're doing great. Absolutely fantastic. You just had surgery on your bladder, so you should feel. Well, that was fine before then. Can do that.
you're coming up very nicely now. Very nicely now, feeling like you're the most happiest woman on the planet. 9, 10, wide awake, wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back, for sure. <coughs> so, tell me. Okay, well, I think I pretty much remember everything because I don't even know if, if I went under. That's what everybody says. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> okay, normal, good. You're not supposed to be asleep. But then once you said, you know, lose control, I'm so, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm You did a lot of crying, a lot of things from the heart. Boy, I try to control that. Mm -hmm. I don't like to cry. But you needed that. You realize how much you needed. Yeah, but I, I've cried too much already. I don't want to cry no more. But these are good tears. Yeah. These are good tears. You did great. Yeah. Do you remember what your higher self told you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She came quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she knew how much I needed her. Mm -hmm. She came quick. She came right there. <laughs> She said, you don't need to know what kind of lies you did. Mm -hmm. what is, what is, you don't need to know, just to confuse you more. Mm -hmm. just, just to add more to your mm -hmm. mind, you know. Yeah. So you were connected very quickly to her. Mm -hmm. It took a roundabout way. I got, I got a little confused because, I don't know, first it was like Rosa. Mm -hmm. And then you go, who's Rosa? Yeah, that's Jean. Mm -hmm. So what is that? Could have been a guide. Yeah. Could have been a guide. You're trying to help me get there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like you were lost and and this guy came and helped you. So what do you think about this experience? Do you feel like you got you got what you were looking for? You can get all your questions answered. Um Uh yeah, but don't get offended because it's like kinda I already knew. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? All answers are within. <laughs> I know. I knew that before you started. And it's like, okay, so I just did all this time and spent all this money, and but it's like a confirmation yeah. from this day forward. Okay, okay, you know it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's real. It's you, not fake. You've been binge watching all of the videos. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, those people go under though. How do those people go under? Because everybody's different. Yeah. And you needed a different experience because you're different. You're unique. You were squirming around like... I wanted to go like way under. But I didn't need to, huh? Hypnosis is different for each person. And for you, you're pretty much of a control person. I don't want to be, though. No, you did fine. You did really fine. I mean... We, we connected with your higher self and all of those tears and emotions were telling me that you were very hypnotized. Why would you cry like that normally? But I was like so awake, like I could hear myself talking. Of course, of course you can, it's your, it's your body. Mm -hmm. But I thought like I was going to go under where I couldn't even... Because mm -hmm. like at the beginning when you're doing like the cloud stuff, mm -hmm. I'm like that was cool and then you said okay now we're gonna go back mm -hmm. so I could literally see the clouds you know like me going back mm -hmm. and then that's when I had to, oh and then the interruptions with with the bladder mm -hmm. I think that that was just kind of like you were letting go a lot of stuff and sometimes when you go to the bathroom a lot it's because you really have a lot to let go okay so don't look at that as being anything negative everybody Everybody just the interruptions. I didn't want the interruptions, you That's know, okay. but it had to be because certain parts were, I had to... They were very intense. Yeah, and I had to, like, regroup. Uh-huh. And, and you see that you were doing it yourself. When when yeah. when something was getting heavy duty, yeah. you had to stop and use the bathroom. That was your way of checking out. So yeah, but I didn't want to do that. Your body has different ideas. Your subconscious mind has different ways of handling things. I stuck with you. Yeah, you did your job. Hello. <laughs> you had to have a lot of patience for this one. Because I'd be like, oh, God, this woman. We talked about this. Uh, she didn't hear. 
Okay, let me try again. Did okay. You really did. You did really well. Did I? Yeah. Just the fact that you finally allowed yourself to cry was a really big deal. Yeah, and I because felt that. That was that was one of the things that you did not want to let go of. You did not want to cry. Sometimes no I see my my little girl self. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man, you poor thing. You're so beautiful, and mm -hmm. no one really paid attention to you. Mm -hmm. And then now that I'm an adult. I go, okay, I know I'm beautiful, but I don't want people to, <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> it's crazy. Mm -hmm. What but do you feel that you got from this? I feel like it's time for me to grow up, mm -hmm. stop acting like a little hurt child, mm -hmm. you know, get over it, and um, just move forward, mm -hmm. try to be a good person. And help others and get to I guess get my business done. I, I figure I work for about I don't know maybe five years and then by then I'll have my own business and mm -hmm. then I won't have to make do it that. so yeah make it so so now that you've experienced this would you recommend this to others absolutely absolutely but the main thing is you have to have your your heart open mm -hmm. and you have to trust the process yeah, because if you don't, then if, if you're shut and you're, you don't trust and you've got the fears, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. You have to come home with your heart open. You have to trust the facilitator and the process. And, um, yeah, you will grow from it. You'll grow. I feel like I've grown already a lot. <laughs> In a few hours. Yeah. It's like, okay, I'm all grow, grown up now. It's been uh, five and a half hours we've been together. Oh, really? How, yeah. Well, you've had a lot of bathroom breaks. <laughs> we had to stop and go each time. But you did really well. You really did really well. I'm really proud of you. You couldn't get a normal experience. You've, you've already seen all of the videos. You needed a different one for yourself. Is that what it was? <laughs> I'm just making it up. <laughs> well, because I wanted one of those. I wanted to go to another planet. I wanted to be an avatar or a bird man or a bird woman. Yeah, a bird woman or oh, yeah. But and then same thing with the past lives. You know, it's like you didn't need to see them. I didn't need well, uh, for what? Okay, so okay, so you were a. Uh, I I think I was an abused woman. Hello. Mm -hmm. In this life. Mm -hmm. Well, no, maybe in a past life too, because I, I, I kept taking it. You know, I thought it was normal. All right. So, with the magic question, would you share some of this with the public? Some of it, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Terrific. All right. Yeah. So let me. Position uh, here. The part where I'm sobbing. Oh, please. That's a good part. <laughs> oh, is it? That's the best part? <laughs> so, uh, my name is Alba Wyman. I'm here in Miami, Florida, and uh, we've just watched a really interesting session. Not your typical session. <laughs> but if you want to book your session um, with me, you can go to albawyman.com, and we'll see each other soon.